Prior to this, ProRes files were pretty much just QuickTime-based elements that you could link to and bring into your media composer. Starting with version 6, we can import ProRes files directly, and this provides some pretty exciting abilities. I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to choose the ProRes that match this. This, I believe, was all ProRes LT. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this in. It's going to import, and it's going to do a fast import. It's doing a fast import. It'll take just a little bit longer than the length of the clip because now Media Composer internally can work with both DNxHD, but it can also work with ProRes. You can render in ProRes. You can create any sort of media into ProRes directly. And what this buys you is this buys you workflows where maybe you had to deliver to somebody a clip in ProRes. Instead of having to convert each element along the way, you're able to handle everything natively as ProRes files and output ProRes files directly from Media Composer. So now that this file has, has been imported, it's actually truly a ProRes file. We'll take a look at the codec that it's using. I'm just going to go ahead and show, choose columns and add uh, one element here. I'm going to add the format. The format added, you can see this is a ProRes LT file. That was what the original was. It's able to edit with this and treat it just as if it was Media Composer material. Under my settings, under my media creation, pretty much everywhere except capture, I have the ability, have the ability to generate titles in ProRes, import tra and mix and transcode and mix down into ProRes, do my motion effects and renders in ProRes. The beauty of all this is if I have to then spit out to something that's expecting a QuickTime ProRes file, Media Composer can handle it from head to tails. You just need to know that it's here and to switch your render resolutions and your, your titles over to ProRes so everything gets handled pretty much natively. It's very exciting. It makes life a lot easier for some of those delivery formats.